Now to the jaw-dropping video showing the terrifying moments when a garbage truck careened off an elevated portion of I-95, slamming down into the street below. Local 10 News reporter Victor Okendo following this story for us tonight live in Miami. And Lori, right now the park behind me is closed, but when it's open, this place is usually packed. This crash happened in February during the evening rush, so investigators say it's a miracle that nobody on the ground was hurt. And when you see the video, you'll understand why they also say it's a miracle that the driver survived. The video speaks for itself. It's a point of view you never hope to see. Watch as Miami waste truck operator Kasim Smith at the wheel veers right and then plows through a guardrail, then down 75 feet onto Jose Marti Park. 28 years doing this, I have never seen an accident where of such magnitude where he falls off 75 feet from a highway onto a park and he survives. And I heard a boom. I thought it was going to explode. Smith was on the busy Southwest 7th Street exit ramp high above the Miami River and the park. He's not speeding. He's not texting. After seeing the video, investigators say he starts too far over to the left. He made contact with the left curb twice where he overcorrected. He appears to look out the window as he overcorrects to the right and as his truck crosses lanes and smashes through the concrete, he's ejected, free falling independently of his multi-ton truck for three awful seconds. He definitely has is very passionate about the work that he performs on a daily basis. That's why it's kind of shocking for us to see something like this that take place. Smith is a 13 year veteran with Miami Solid Waste with a solid satisfactory work record. He's worked there since graduating Miami Northwestern Senior High. After the crash, he spent two weeks in the hospital. He was born that day, and if he doesn't go to church, he just started going to church. Now, the city of Miami is still looking into this. In the meantime, though, what we're talking about is property damage and two tickets for Kasim Smith, one for careless driving and the other for not wearing a seatbelt. In Miami, I'm Victor Okendo, Local 10 News.